ACEEE's City Clean Energy Scorecard is an annual report that looks at the efforts of 75 cities in the U.S. to improve energy efficiency and scale up renewable energy. Hi there, my name is Dave Rubiro. I'm a senior researcher at ACEEE and I am the lead author of the City Clean Energy Scorecard. We assess cities based on their clean energy efforts and rank them. The results tell us who is doing best and who can most improve. We also get a better handle on the leading practices as well as clean energy trends in cities. How did things shake out? First place goes to Boston, who continued its streak as the top city in our scorecard. Rounding out the top five are San Francisco and Seattle, followed by Minneapolis and Washington, D.C. Cincinnati, Hartford, and Providence are our cities to watch. They haven't broken into the top 10, but they have made big strides since the last edition and have aggressively adopted clean energy policies since early 2017. Looking across cities, we have lots of positives to report. Between January 2017 and April 2019, cities have taken more than 265 actions to increase their clean energy agendas. Some of these are modest efforts, like Philadelphia's teleworking policy for municipal employees, while others are really cutting edge, like Washington DC's performance standards for its existing buildings. Cities still have room to improve though. 49 of the 75 cities have goals to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, but based on the data we reviewed, we found only 11 cities are on track to achieve these goals. We found cities continue to focus on buildings. Cities have adopted more stringent building energy codes and adopted requirements for their new and existing buildings. Cities are also pursuing initiatives to reduce their emissions from transportation, but we don't find that the same level of innovation exists for transportation policies as exists for buildings policies. This scorecard took a closer look at equity in planning and program delivery. We found that cities are beginning to invest in low-income communities and communities of color, but they still have much room to improve. They can look to examples in Minneapolis, Seattle, and Providence if they want to jumpstart their own activities in their communities. When it comes to different strategies to reduce emissions, cities continue to be laboratories of innovation. Although they still have much to do, we congratulate cities for their ingenuity and for their leadership on climate action.